Wars. Hey guys, it's Klaus. Welcome back. I've got another new tank. The Chinese Tier 6 light tank. I'm grinding the Chinese lights. It's called the 5916 because they couldn't figure out what to call it. Uh, so they, oh, you call it 59. No, 16. No, 59. Uh, you want more rice? They, uh, I don't know why it's called that. We're going to play here. Before we start, I just want you all to know that uh, Miss XX uh, wants you all to know that if we lose, Klaus Kellerman is the reason. He is a bad it player. Thank you, uh, Miss X. Uh, I'm not surprised. To, there's always at least one simple-minded asshat in every game who is uh, very concerned about what everyone else does rather than what they do. There are some people that are like that, that are perfect in themselves, perfect specimens that are the epitome of perfection. And the whole world around them just lets them down. I feel sorry for you, Miss X. You must have a very hard time in your own mind, in your world. I'll play my game and you play yours. This is one of the first games I've played in my uh, little 5916. I wasn't really sure what to expect. I, I, I think it's like the third game. Here I go. I'm in a light tank, fast, good concealment. And I'm going to move up on this hill. I didn't want to go to the one line because the enemies have a couple of fast tanks. And uh, I would try to get to that bush on the one line, but if I was countered, it would be kind of a wasted move. But I see the two enemy light tanks in the middle there. Maybe I can make it up here and spot. But I'm detected. Wait! How could I be detected here? I'm looking at the AMD. Uh, he's outside the maximum detection range. The MT-25 is outside the maximum. So there must be someone. Uh, I'm looking at the loadout here. They have a Type 64. He could possibly have gotten into position. Well, this is when my sixth sense went off, but I was not detected here. I was detected three seconds earlier. Let's rewind this and see where I was three seconds ago. Okay, three, two, one. Stop here. Okay, I was detected right here. Can't be the MT-25, can't be the AMX. It's got to be the Type 64 somewhere. It's made it to some position to detect me. Well, I don't know. I'm a terrible light tank player. Maybe we should ask Miss XX. At least I'm smart enough to know that, hey, I'm detected. I better kind of rearrange my thinking. And that, that's... Okay, let's try it again. Right. Oh, the artillery. Uh, it's a good thing I didn't just sit there in the bush. Or I would have been... Pummeled. Well, let's keep playing this game and let's uh, do what you're supposed to do in World of Tanks and that is uh, just uh, aim and take a shot and bounce on a wheeled vehicle. Why not? And bounce a shot from a T-34-85. Because that's how the game works. <laughs> See, I don't know what I'm go what's going on. I'm obviously a terrible light tank player. Can I uh, approach this bush now and remain undetected is the question. Uh, yes. All right, now I can start doing some spotting assist. There's the, the T-50-2 on my team has taken the bush on the one line. That's good. This is the other really good spot to come to spot people that push aggressively on this hill. I'm going to back up here and just stop here. Why was I initially detected? See, we don't know where that Type 64 is, so I'm not sure. Not sure, guys, but let's just keep uh, racking up some spotting assists. I want to get at least up to a uh, thousand, maybe fifteen hundred. Can we get up to fifteen hundred? Uh, fifteen hundred spotting assists would be good, guys. Uh, I'll just take it. Okay. Yeah, Chong Cha Ho, you want my rice? <laughs> yeah, we got up to sixteen fifty nine. Sixteen fifty nine. That's the way. Uh huh. Uh huh. I like it. And I'm just driving around uh, aimlessly like a clown because um, uh, I'm not a very good light tank player. As I was driving around like a clown, though, I did get up to 1,772 spotting. I mean, if the clown cars can do it, <laughs> you know, like, why not? Let's just get back up here. And slow, let's uh, do it. Yeah, I don't, uh, yeah, I'll move to the next bush. Like, why not? Why not? Why not? Let's do this. There we go. Get in here. Park here. And, uh, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know what to do. What should I do? Obviously, a Unicom would know exactly what to do. I'll just sit in a bush for a little while. Just be patient. Be patient. See if anyone shows up here. Oh, I'm spotted. Boy. 
That guy must have commander's uh, vision system, or, or I must just be a terrible light tank player. I got spotted in the bush, stationary, uh, with my tank that has over 30% concealment. Okay, well, let's get the hell out of here. Shit, I obviously didn't do that right. Where to go, where to go now? Uh, the T50-2 has not really spotted anyone on the one line. Maybe he's gone to that bush and doesn't have any uh, view range. That's possible. At least I know. One thing I know is that uh, light tanks are fast and can relocate on the battlefield. Right? That I know. Driving? Not so much. Not so much. No, uh, I'm not a very good driver. But, uh, okay, we, got it. we did it. We did it. <laughs> we did it. All's well that ends well. Let's uh, head down this way now. Uh, it's a fun little tank, isn't it? It's just... Uh, I like the way it looks. Mainly I like the way it looks. Uh, I put some fancy camo on it. But, uh, you know, what do I know? What do I know? Let's... Uh, oh, poor T-50-2 is almost deed. He's almost deed up there. There's the Type 64. If the Type 64... I don't know where he was at the beginning of the game. Did that guy spot me at the beginning? It's possible. We will never know. We will never know. We should ask someone that is a good light tank player to explain that. I would like to have the enemies, uh, someone on the enemy, on the enemy team, if I had their replay, this would be a very informative video. You, you would know uh, where I was detected from. Probably somewhere in the center, in the town in the center. This guy that I just killed might have done it. But you're dead! You're deed. And now because I'm uh, a terrible light tank player, I'm going to move up along these bushes here. And uh, possibly just accidentally uh, let my team do some um, uh, some damage on the people I spot. Let's move up here. Let's move up here. Slowly. Just stick in these bushes. Wargaming put the bushes here. I didn't put the bushes here. You know, it's uh, I didn't do it. There you go, team. You want to shoot? Shoot! There you go. Take some shots. Poor guy. I feel sorry for him, you know. He's just... Oops. Let's move up again. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Just, there you go. Oh, you're dead. You're dead. That's terrible. That's terrible. And this guy... I'm a terrible light tank player, so I didn't realize that it was my teammate that actually spotted this guy, not me. But I'll just kill him. Kill steal! Ha <laughs> ha I'm a kill stealer! A, a smart player would have known. Oh, you're not detecting that KV-2. It's time to rush in and avoid his big gun. And, ah, let's just rush in now. Let's just rush in. Yeah, take him out. Kill steal! Yeah, uh, it's, all, it's all accidental here now, guys. And let's do a little ramp for you. Uh. Oh, you want more rice? I think Jibadia means yes. I want more rice. <laughs> and not great. I only, only first class. And, uh,. I'd, well, I'm on top there with five kills. A lot of kill stealing I did, and I didn't do very much spotting. Only 3,269. So I, I've, I've got to brush up on my skills. And uh, you know, like, wh what kind of guy would put that game on YouTube? Like That's just an average uh, game, right? That's, that's not great. I'm going to keep playing it, and eventually I'll get five, six, seven thousand 7,000 damage and ace tanker and all. But I, I wanted to just put that game on there. Just so I could introduce you to uh, Miss XX, the simple-minded asshat. But uh, forget Miss XX. How about Mr. Pirate? But I don't want to be a pirate. Mr. Pirate. You know, guys, you can play your tanks however you want. You can do it. This is a free world. Well, it's not a free world. There's a, much of the world is free. Some of the world sucks. And I hope you're not living somewhere that sucks. But in general, uh, this is a free-to-play, free-to-do-whatever-the-fuck-you-want game. If you have a light tank, you can drive anywhere you want. Don't let anyone tell you what to do. If you got a heavy tank, you can sit at the back and snipe. If you have a TD, you can move forward and, and spot. If you have an SPG, you can put it in shotgun mode and show everybody your big motherfucking gun. You could do whatever you want. Don't let anyone ping the map and tell you what to do. Mr. Pirate knows this, and he plays however the hell he wants. He looks at the map, he makes his own decisions, and everyone else can go fuck themselves. Especially the Miss X's of the world. 
Let's see what he does here. He's moving into position. He's moving into the center of the map. This is just a regular game. He's gonna... What are you gonna do? You gonna knock down that tree? Ah, he's gonna hide behind this rock. Oh, he is gonna knock down the tree. There you go. Beautiful. No one can tell him what to do. He wanted to knock down that tree. He's such a terrible light tank player. He hasn't spotted anyone. He's done zero damage. And all he wants to do is knock down trees. Yeah, you know what? It's a free world. He can knock down trees if he wants to. And he can just sit here. Just chill. <laughs> I like his name, Mr. Pirate. But I don't want to be a pirate. What is he doing now? He's looking at the mini-map and he's realizing uh, it's probably not worth just sitting in that tree. He's going to drive this way. There he goes. He goes oh! One of his teammates has already made it to their cap. Is going to kill all the artillery because I think what he's noticed as an observant light tank player, he's noticed that the enemies are going to win this game easily. He's also noticed that they've all pushed forward and they're in slow tanks and uh, he's probably assumed that well, in general, they could be Muppets. <laughs> Here he goes. Jump off the leap off the cliff. That's what he wants to do. No one can stop him. <laughs> Here, there he goes. Come on. He's not, he likes to knock down trees. Leap off the cliffs. He, he knocks down every tree. No one can tell you what to do, buddy. If you want to knock down the fucking trees, knock them down. Here he goes. Are there more trees you can knock down? He's losing 2-7. <laughs> oh, look. Cible Vero, yeah. Oh, he missed. Because the game said no. Because the dollars per minute algorithm has kicked in. The enemies are winning 7-4. His shots can't hit anymore. But wait, another artillery. Maybe he can kill two artillery. Can he do it? Can he do it? Come on. Knock down a tree. Pray a There you go. He's got <laughs> can you get three artillery kills? Come on. Come on. No, don't go for a real... Ah! He went for a reload. Oh, maybe he can do it. Come on. Can he get three artillery kills? Are you kidding? See plackies. See plackies. <laughs> Come on. Come on. But I don't want to be a pirate. <laughs> he gets the medal for killing three artilleries in one game. And uh, aren't you going to knock that tree down? Don't you want to knock that tree down? <laughs> The moral of the story, guys, the moral of the story is be who you want to be. Don't listen to ass hats. Uh, ignore everyone and just do whatever the fuck you want to do. Have fun however you want to. Wasting one uh, brain cell or one second worrying about uh, simple minded ass hats is a waste of time. Life is too short. Life is too short. And sometimes when you do the unexpected and you just make your own decisions, you can have a result that maybe Miss XX would be in awe of. The medal you get for killing three artilleries and then the most prestigious medal in the game, Kolobanov's medal, which is won by standing alone versus five enemies and emerging victorious. You can do it and achieve it any way you want. And Mr. Pirate is going to just sit in his little bush. Relax. Wait. Oh, his artillery buddy is dead. It's six versus two. Six versus two. The cheery shout out to you, buddy, for resetting and saving the situation. The cheery now is going to be taken out on the battlefield. And Mr. Pirate, Kolobanov's medal for you. GG. But I don't want to be a pirate.